we are introducing a new coordinate system here called polar coordinates. And it's different than the X and Y system that you've used in the past. X and Y is great, but there's times when you'll find polar coordinates are an advantage. So here's what the deal is with these. Instead of talking about X and Y, we're going to talk about R and theta. Okay, radius and theta. Now, theta, you should recognize from what we've been doing in trigonometry. When I talk about this angle right here, pi over 3, see if you can find that on this grid. Remember, theta comes up like this. That's theta. It's measured from the real positive axis. And you should remember this special angle right here. This is pi over 3. Okay, so we'll just put pi over 3 right there. And then the question is, well, what about radius 4? What does that refer to? Well, you'll notice these lines in here. There's 1, 2, 3, there's 4. These are measured from the origin. So radius 4 means this circle right here that I'm tracing out badly. Okay, that's my radius 4 circle. And I have my angle pi over 3. So what we do when we're finding this coordinate point is just look for the intersection between these things. And there it is. So that's our point. Radius 4, uh, angle pi over 3. Now you might be thinking at, at this moment, well, wait a minute, what about this intersection over here? Yeah, okay. Um, it's true that I, I should have maybe not drawn this graph quite like I did. I should have drawn my angle like this, pi over 3. That's pi over 3. This one down here would be 4 pi over 3. Remember, that's going more than halfway around the circle. So now we know how to find a point on the unit circle. I'm sorry, on the uh, polar coordinate plane. And now what we're going to do is, this is kind of interesting, we're going to talk about how to phrase this point in different ways. You're not used to this from regular coordinates. When there's an x and a y, that's it. There's only one way to describe a point using x and y coordinates. But there are multiple ways to describe this blue dot here. And the easiest to see is using coterminal angles. You could say, sure, that's a radius of 4, and that's pi over 3. But what about this? What about that angle of 7 pi over 3? Right? It just went around more than once, but it ended up at the same place. So that's what we're getting at here. There are multiple ways to describe points in polar coordinates. And let's go through a few of them. So if r is positive and the angle is between 2 pi and 4 pi, in other words, you have to go more than once around, but not more than twice, the way you would describe this is radius 4 and 7 pi over 3, just like I mentioned there. That's pi over 3, our original one, plus another 2 pi. Or in other words, see it's like this, but no. Pi over 3 plus 2 pi. Now 2 pi is just 6 pi over 3, so that's where I'm coming up with 7 pi over 3. Great. So now, uh, let's look at this next one. What if your angle is negative? Okay, see, these are negative angles. Well, that's fine. That just means going in the other direction. And instead of going pi over 3 positive, I would be going, if you can think about what the negative coterminal angle is, that's just minus 2 pi, or minus a full circle. So that's going to be negative 5 pi over 3. And now, here's where it's going to maybe twist your head up a little bit. When r is negative, what does that mean? Well, if this was a positive r that I drew right here, a negative r would just mean going backwards. So how could I get to that point by going backwards? Well, here's, here's how it works. Imagine for a moment that we are rotating around until we get to here. Okay, what angle is that? You should recognize that. It's 4 pi over 3. And now, instead of going positive in that direction, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go negative in this direction. Okay, so that's negative 4, and the angle is 4 pi over 3. And likewise, if I wanted it to be a negative angle with a negative r, this is, this is really getting a little trippy here. Negative r, negative angle. So I'm still talking about, still talking about this angle. Because if I'm going in a negative r direction, well, that's the angle I'm looking at. But how do I describe that using negative theta? Well, what's this right here? That's going to be negative 2 pi over 3. And what you can do is you can just take that positive angle from the last one, 4 pi over 3, 
and subtract 2 pi to make it a coterminal negative angle.